Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lei. Just the other day, I was scrolling through all the launches SpaceX has performed, and I was amazed at how much progress SpaceX has made in the past 10 years. The reason I was doing that is because SpaceX had just completed its 50th Falcon 9 launch a few days ago. Amazing, right? It's happening so fast. But this has got me thinking. Obviously, SpaceX is a launch provider, and its main job is to send other companies' payloads to the space. But what kind of payloads does SpaceX usually send? Often, supporters of SpaceX focus too much on the launch itself and too little on what is being sent. Therefore, in this video, I want to give you guys my top five most interesting payloads in SpaceX history. Before I start, be sure to write in the comment section down below your list. I would love to know which payload has been the most exciting for you. First of all, out of all 50 Falcon 9 launches, one Falcon Heavy launch, and five Falcon 1 launches, you'll be surprised to know that most of the payloads can be put into two broad categories. Just two. Mind blowing, right? These two categories are resupply missions to the International Space Station and communication satellites. Out of all 56 launches so far, the majority of them fell into these two baskets. Obviously, communication satellites vary in their applications and locations in the space, but all of them do the same thing. They either send TV signals or internet connection signals to our houses. Of course, there are other details that differentiate those communication satellites, such as their frequency band and their orbit height, but that's too complicated to talk about in just one short video. So perhaps I will talk about it in the future. If you want that video, leave a comment down below to let me know. I'll probably talk about them in detail in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to this channel or follow me at Lay Creatives for that video. Understanding this makes it really interesting to look at what else SpaceX has sent to the sky because those launches might give us an idea of where SpaceX's future is. So here are my top 5 SpaceX payloads and why those payloads are interesting in my opinion. The first one I want to talk about is GORSAT. This is the furthest satellite SpaceX has ever sent. Both its functionality and its orbits are very unique. While most satellites SpaceX has launched go to either low Earth orbit or geostationary transfer orbit, this satellite was launched to the Lagrangian point, L1. Here is where it is in space, one million miles away from Earth. The moon is here, the satellite is here. The satellite got its name from the former Vice President of the United States, Al Gore. He proposed this satellite to be sent for the purpose of Earth Observatory. Its functions include monetary solar wind, deep space radiation, changes in ozones, and so on. But perhaps the most interesting point about this satellite for me is that it opens doors for future science and exploration missions for SpaceX. We have seen increasing interest in deep space exploration in the past few years from multiple agencies around the world. SpaceX could be an ideal launch provider for missions like this. The second payload I want to mention are the Iridian satellites. Technically, Iridian satellites fall under the basket of communication satellites, but this is especially interesting for me because unlike any other SpaceX communication satellite missions, Iridian is sending a constellation of satellites into the low Earth orbit with SpaceX launchers. 75 satellites in total will be sent in the span of two years. SpaceX experience with Iradian would potentially be valuable for future Starlink missions, where SpaceX will send 12,000s of its own communication satellites to the sky. I've talked about Starlink project in previous videos. It's very impressive. I'll link it. SpaceX plans to make the majority of its money from Starlink in the next 10 years, and therefore doing a great job for Iradian and perfecting launches in the process could bring a lot of valuable lessons for SpaceX. Plus, I'd really love to use Starlink's internet services someday. The third payload is the most mysterious payload SpaceX has ever sent. It's SpaceX's first mission in 2018, codenamed Zuma. And no, it's not named after the former president of South Africa. For those of you who are not aware of the Zuma mystery, I made an entire series on it. You should check it. But if you don't have time to check it out, the gist is we know nothing about the payload not its owner, not its function, nothing. And if that's not enough, immediately after the launch, we were informed that the payload was lost in the process. However, no one took responsibility for the alleged lost payload. 
For all we know, it might just be a stealth satellite, and the technology is so secretive that the government had to cover it up with a lost story. It's just a theory though. The second last payload I'm going to talk about is the Tesla Roadster. You guys have probably seen it coming. I just can't not talk about it. The whole thing was so exciting. The Falcon Heavy, the Roadster, the Mars trajectory, the simultaneous landing, everything. I mean, well, not everything, but almost everything went perfectly. I was struggling to either put this payload as the top on the list or the second on the list. You guys will know why I put it here in a second. The top on the list, well, I kind of cheated a bit. The title of the video is 5 Most Interesting Payloads in SpaceX History. The payload I'm about to mention here has not been sent yet, but it's going to help SpaceX make history. It's perhaps the most important payload SpaceX will ever send. I'm talking about SpaceX's first manned mission to the International Space Station. It's a big deal, because manned missions have a much stricter rule for the spacecraft. You need to make sure everything goes perfectly. Plus, since SpaceX's goal is to send people to Mars, demonstrating the capability of sending people to space is a necessary first step. As for now, the mission is scheduled to happen in December 2018. I'm psyched. All right, this is my list. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. As always, subscribe and like if you enjoy this video. Follow me at Lay Creatives for more updates. And, and I'll catch you guys later.